Hello, Tatiana. Ciao, uh, Ryan. Yeah, <laughs> and I have I have a few questions I want to ask you. Uh, the first reply has lots of product and service across different function and industry. What what do you think is the company's biggest advantage? Okay, that's a different question to answer. Um, also because uh, you know being reply for me it's like saying what's what's the big advantage of your kid it's not, not easy <laughs> but <laughs> anyhow um well a few topics uh, for sure we have our, an ability or a capacity to keep up with innovation so to change uh, uh, fast and continuously with the changing market that uh, for a company working on technologies or making digital happen in the in, in our customer's environment, that's key. And uh, this is also linked to the to our organizational model, which is a networked enterprise, so it's a kind of innovation in itself. And it's a very peculiar model, which uh, it was quite disruptive for a service company. So it's a partnership type of company, but with a twist that makes us very fast. And uh, third, I would put diversity. Uh, we made this European team uh, uh, quite fast, uh, which um, has a, a lot of diversity inside it. I really be key, believe that is key uh, diversity of jobs, creative people, technology consultants, gender or nationalities. So really mixed, not like you know, yeah, a lot of multinational diverse, but each team uh, is you know, kind of a node that is very similar and uh, then organized centrally. We are really mixed, so it makes a difference, I believe. Okay, thank you. Most MBA students are anchored to switch industry, function, region, and become the manager after graduation. What kind of skills do you think a candidate with no background in management should have to achieve this goal? You know, Ryan, first, I really think that management is not a job. This is the first belief that I personally have. So you have a job and then growing and learning, you learn how to manage other people in that type of context. So my personal belief is that first of all, you have to learn a job. Uh, a job, of course, in the past, it was very easy. You learn, for example, in, the, like, in fashion, mm. how to sew, and then you became, you know, a designer and so on. Now, nowadays, it's not like that. But nonetheless, I really believe that to manage an industry, you have to understand that job. You know, how to how things are done. So to get that experience, to really be effective. Of course, there is another type of management which is more financial driven. That's not my home turf, right? And I really believe that to make a difference, uh, to, to do something new, to be an entrepreneur, you have to learn a job. Not just how to invest money. That, mm. That's my personal <laughs> belief. <laughs> okay. Reply's business scope is all over the world. It, also, it, it has also uh, employees of more than 110 nationalities. Mm -hmm. How do you manage such a huge business and communicate effectively with people from different uh, cultures and nationality? First of all, uh, okay, I, I, I grew up somehow with the company, so for me it's a little bit different than in many other cases probably. But uh, um, one thing I, I really believe is key is that you put always a bit of yourself in what you do and, uh, and, and people recognize it and perceive it. Uh, some call it passion, dedication, whatever. At the end for me it's really, you put something of you, is you know, mm. it's difficult to really um, drive something if you're not engaged and you're not uh, willing to, be, to lose something together with uh, the people, the company, whatever. So this is the first thing. Second, I'm always uh, uh, candid. So I, when I was younger, I was trying to be the perfect, uh, whatever, the perfect manager, the perfect speaker, what everybody else <laughs> thought it was a perfect thing. You know, you see this kind of thing and you say, okay, our presenter, a good presenter does it. I try to be the same, you know? Mm. And then uh, you, you get the first unsuccess because you, you're trying to do something you are not 
sometimes, and uh, you fail, most often. And from failure, at the end, I personally learned that if you are yourself, yeah, you maybe fail, but at the end, it's you who fail, you know? So being candid, always transparent, or you are yourself, uh, the organization, the people, the customer, I think it's perceived, trust is given. Again, you may fail, we are human and whatever. And the last thing is uh, um, to be able to take risk, which uh, again is, a, is, is something uh, really difficult to so go out of the comfort zone, take risk as an individual and as a company. So these are the three ingredients that when I, I mm. talk to people, 110 nationality, whatever, doesn't really make the difference whether you're from a nationality or another. Mm. At the end, people are passionate, they may have needs, maybe earn some money, maybe recognition, doesn't matter. Everybody is equal, has difficulties. And at the end, the, the empathy, the, the human values, uh, what you put, uh, often counts more than anything else. Okay, uh, the last question. As Reply's business continues to grow, uh, how do you assess which field or marketing to enter? Does the company has uh, any plans for the future? Of course, like every company, we have some vision and some RS that we are uh, pursuing so that uh, we put investment and we build a new initiative uh, on uh, following those visions. Uh, but also, a lot of the time, we simply grab opportunity because things in the tech world are changing so fast. And you may have thought you have understood something and that the world is going in a certain direction, then suddenly, poof! Mm. You know, so you have also to be very, really be very fast and grab opportunity, listen what people come propose and, and, and be very flexible. That's why it's important to have a job and work because <laughs> to decide what to do is your, is your ability and knowledge and how mm. you have acquired to understand if something is good or not for the company, for you, and it's instincts out of time. <laughs>